our textbook derive the solution to the logistic growth equation so we don't have to do all that calculus every time. We just really need to plug in the numbers where they're supposed to go. Um, they're saying there's initially one bacterium, so P sub 0 equals 1. Oh, that's the wrong tool. So the carrying capacity is 1 million. And the rate is 0 0.3, 30% is a decimal. Then down here we have K minus, I'm just going to do that, that's 999,999. And then this is 1 E to the 0.3 T power. And so we're supposed to find out what T is when P of T is 500,000. Equals all that stuff up there, okay? So what you want to do is you want to first get t out of the denominator. That's the variable we're trying to solve for. So we want to multiply this to both sides of the equation. That will make it cancel out on the right side of the equal sign. A lot of writing. There is our million. Um, and so we want to collect the t terms together because t is the variable we're trying to solve for. So I can distribute this 500,000 uh, i got to start typing the numbers here. This is going to take too long. Come on computer. There we go. Then we got 500,000 times e to the 0 0.3t equals we got a million e to the 0 0.3t. Okay, and then we want to collect the e to the 0 0.3 terms on one side, so we'll subtract this 500,000 from both sides, so a million subtracted by 500,000 gives us 500,000. And then over here we have that big number that I had the calculator handle. And so we're trying to get E by itself, so we want to divide 500,000 from both sides. We do that. We got to take this divide by five hundred thousand, and look back to that number nine hundred ninety nine thousand. That equals e to the zero point three t. So to get t by itself, we need a natural log of both sides. Natural log of e to the zero point three t is zero point three t. And so to finish getting t by itself, we divide 0 0.3 from both sides. So take natural log of this number, divide by 0.3, so there's our time, 46.05169 years.